In this video, we will be looking at the Kerberos Silver Ticket attack. The Silver Ticket allows an attacker to create forged Kerberos TGS tickets that give them access to a particular service running on a particular host. That service could be a SQL database service, file sharing, web service, or any other number of valuable services that can give an attacker access to what is on your, your servers and hosts. Uh, the interesting thing about silver tickets is that one, they require no privileges to create. All you need is the password for a service account. Two, they do not interact with domain controllers directly. So they bypass that and talk only to the servers where the service they are impersonating against is hosted. That makes it a lot more difficult to detect. So let's take a look at a silver ticket in action. The first thing you need to perform a silver ticket attack is the password of a service account. We're going to use Kerber Roasting to do that. We have a separate video on Kerber Roasting, so I won't go into too much detail there, but it's basically a way that you can take any account that has a registered service principal name in Active Directory and brute force the password offline. So here's all of the accounts that have service principal names associated with them. I'm going to pick one in particular that runs my database service here, and I'm going to go after that account. So all I have to do is request a Kerberos ticket using that SPN value. You can see I specify that here. Now I get a ticket in memory that's encrypted with the password of the service account. And then I'm going to take that offline and brute force it. So to do, do that, I'm going to use Mimikatz and use the Kerberos list command and export all those tickets. And you can see I've got my SQL service account ticket right here using that SPN. So now that that's there, all I need to do is use the Kerber Roasting Toolkit, and I'm going to use a dictionary list and crack that ticket. So you'll see here, all the tickets that just got dumped out. I care about this one here that has the SQL service information. So I'm going to specify that. Okay. And you can see it's cracked the ticket and it's found the password, which is right here. So now I have a service account password. I can begin to create silver tickets. The first thing I'm going to need to do now that I have that is convert that password to an NTLM hash. So I'm going to use DS internals to do that. Copy this script over here. And you can see it's very easy to convert that password to an NTLM hash, which I have here. Now to create the silver ticket, I will use Mimikatz and use a Kerberos golden command, similar to creating a golden ticket with some key differences. You can see I've got my domain SID here and my domain I also have information about the service that I'm looking to attack. So I've got the host here and the service on that host. This is the NTLM password hash for the service account that's running the service. And now I can actually create fake user account display names and run under the account context of separate accounts in Active Directory. So this could allow you to escalate your privileges so that you're a member of other groups, you're running as different user accounts, you might compromise the SQL service account, but it doesn't have rights to log on interactively and access all the databases. So this is where you can really elevate your privileges. I've created a silver ticket. Now I can launch a command prompt. If I type who am I, it still thinks I'm my current logged on user. But if I do a K-list command to list my Kerberos tickets, you can see I've got a ticket for my fake made up account. I've got a silver ticket and it's for this particular service on this host. So to validate that it's all working, I'm going to use a tool called SQL command and connect to that host. Okay. So now I'm connected through SQL and I can issue a simple command just to show that it's working. Select system user. And you can see what's returned from the SQL server. It thinks I'm logged in as this account, which does not exist. I've got a silver ticket. I have complete access because I've forged my 
my certificate as part of the ticket and I have the ability to access any data on this service. When you look at the event logs, you'll see this account that doesn't exist, it'll be very difficult to trace down. And I can continue to create these tickets as long as that password I've compromised for that service account is valid. So hopefully this shows you how you can go from no privileges to compromising service accounts and using them to create forged silver tickets within Active Directory. To find out more about attack strategies and how to defend against them, go to netrix.com slash attack.